Hi everyone, welcome to Greenmong TV. I'm in the Logica building in London with Nigel Spooner. Nigel is Global Utilities Director for Logica. Nigel, we've had a bit of a discussion here uh, during the, the analyst event that I've just been attending around smart meters and smart grids. Now, we're in the middle of one of the world's worst economic crises in a long time. Why would utilities want to be spending money on rolling out smart meters? Yeah, it's a good question, isn't it? It is difficult uh, when, when money is tight, but there are benefits to smart metering, uh, both in terms of uh, the consumer being able to uh, manage their energy consumption more closely, and also in terms of the distribution companies being able to run their networks more efficiently, but also, and importantly, being able to cater for consumers doing their own generation, for instance, with photovoltaics, and also for things like incorporating electric vehicles into the network. So this is kind of like smart grid stuff. Can, can you give us a quick idea? I mean, you could talk just a little bit about it there sideways. Give me kind of a, uh, an overall picture of what a smart grid is. Uh, a smart grid is difficult to define very succinctly, but it is a distribution grid where uh, there is much more control over the way that power flows both onto and off the grid. At the moment, grids are very much one way. The power goes in from the power station, it goes through the network, and into the consumer. Increasingly, we're having to cope for the fact that the consumers themselves are generating power. They're also using things like electric vehicles, which have to be charged up at particular times. They need to be controlled if the networks are not to be overloaded. And therefore, the distribution grids have to be much more responsive to those loads and those demands going on them. Smart metering gives the distribution companies the opportunity to know what's going on on that grid to a much closer degree and in real time than they have been doing so far. And advantages to consumers? To consumers, the advantage is that they can get, first of all, more flexible tariffs. So we may be able to get tariffs that are much more aligned with the way in which we actually consume energy rather than being just a blanket tariff that's the same for everyone there will be much more information on the energy that one is using. So that, for instance, one can see when one is uh, going for a rather large load and turn things off if you need to. But also there is the ability increasingly to respond to variable pricing so that if we know, for instance, electricity is going to be expensive in three days' time because of demands on the system, then we can react to that and make sure that our large items like air conditioning units and so on do not get turned on when the price is very high. So we should be able to save both energy and money through the information that smart metering gives. Okay, and I've heard a bit about this DCC thing that's been rolled out here in the UK. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, DCC is simply the organisation that is going to be set up, or is being set up by the British government, to basically take charge of all the data that is coming off smart meters as we roll them out. This will be collected centrally and then distributed to the market participants. And the view is that that will be the most efficient way to manage this huge increase in information that smart meters are providing. By doing that, it should make it easier for participants to come into the market and it should make it easier for consumers to get the best deal on their energy. Okay. And where, where is logic in all this? Well, I'm delighted to say that uh, all the things we've been talking about require relatively sophisticated information technology services to enable them to happen. Logica has for many years been in the business of providing the systems and the services that are required to make those uh, infrastructures operate effectively. And we will, of course, continue to do so. Okay. Great. Nigel, that's fantastic. Thanks for talking to us today. Thank you, Tom.